boy. And uh, <clears throat> I'm going to be on here, oh, for a good three, four, five, six, seven hours. We'll see how long. But all right. <clears throat> Pick an energy drink. Drinking a coffee right now, which is cold milk and instant coffee mixed with sugar in a ninja blender and ice. Not so much flavor. Coffee's more of a medicine. But anyway, let's see what we're doing. Here we go. Okay, so we need to find the pirate ship. Oh, holy shit. God dang it. Alright. Okay. hours. Okay, we're going to be on here for about four, five, six hours. I just hooked up the microphone, and we're ready to start part three in the restart of my No Man's Sky game. We're still on the first storyline of Artemis, and here we go. Okay. Anybody watching yet? Not yet. All right. <clears throat> Man, I'm just sitting looking at my mind PS5 and my 65 inch HD TV, and I remember, man, when I was a little kid, I used to have just a small TV screen in my bedroom. Then I had that computer with a 13 inch black and white TV screen, and then one day I spent like $600 to get myself a High resolution color monitor. 15 inch, baby. <laughs> 15 inch. $600 for a 15 inch high res monitor. And now look at this thing. It's like, it's like $500. $600 for 65 inch. It's great. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Alright. Nice. My mission done. Oh, what do we got? Ah, just a trader. Rusty musical knife. It's nice to play a tune as you're stabbing somebody, you know what I mean? Stabbing them to the beat and the knife's creating the beat, that's a nice combo. <clears throat> Yo ho ho and a bottle of... Oh! We're out of these hyperdrive thingamajiggers. Hey, welcome to the stream. If you're new, like, subscribe, comment, or just chill out. But I'm still on the first story mode mission of the game because I restarted it. And this time around, I'm going to take my time and enjoy the story. So after I complete the first story, I'm going to learn all the words in the language. And then I'm going to do the other two stories so I can actually read a word of the, uh, the lore. What I think would be cool in the future is one of the future updates would be like, um, you know those abandoned space stations you go to? If you go there and somehow you can teleport to a brand new universe and this new universe is similar to this, but... You know how like some factions are GEC, like some systems are controlled by GEC and such? And in the new system, you battle for control. So it's like, you can have your own system if you take it over. But anyway, 
I digress. Here we go. Alright, let's see what we got now. <laughs> What? Complete contracts for the GEC, one of two. What is going on here? I don't understand. Hello, friend. I just did a mission and handed it in. I don't understand why that didn't count. <clears throat> okay, this is getting weird. Complete a contract for the GEC. Well, guess what? I just did! You saw me hand it in. Hmm. So, let's see. I'll do another one. Um, oh wait, technically that mission was violent, so that was probably not for him, even though he's there. So let's see, um, collect 2,500 uranium, hmm, oh wait, um, yeah, there's the symbol, serrated planetary depot, hmm, okay, let's try that one. Um, rated planetary harvester and still data. Is that the one? Hmm. One more time. So, rated planetary. Can't read because this is in progress. Mm. Rated planetary something. Well, let's, uh, mm. the only one that has raid in the word. So I guess I guess it could be this one. Let's try this one. Okay, here we go. And Okay, good. And it's in the system. All right. Let's try this one. Oh, let's, uh, we would have named the systems along the way. Ooh, I've been to quite a few systems since I've, uh, started 20 hours ago. I mean, uh, actually nine hours ago. So, let's name the one I'm in. <clears throat> These are randomly generated names, which I will slightly alter to my reality. Which I'm Juggler Zam, so all these are going to be something. Razam. All right. My bowing in my headset. That feeling. We'll keep it right here at this level. And let's see, as far as the sound system, I think this is good. Hey Siri, read notifications. You have notifications for breaking Amazon Photos Reminders Facebook. Watch first. Shadow Legends present. Announce the frequency. Yes. 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 I said yes. No thanks.
Ooh, I forgot my shears are pretty weak. <laughs> Be careful, because I'm a newbie in the game again. Alright, so... Why use a multi-tool when you can bust it open? Your ship gun is what I say, right? Work smarter, not harder. Alright. <clears throat> oh, crap. Alright. I'm so glad I didn't fall away. Alright, here we go. Psycho, Psycho, new Psycho. I like that name. <laughs> Uh oh. Alright, here we go. The inner core breached. Access and schematics. I approach the terminal. The information the client requires is unencrypted and readily available. Download data. Download data. Data is my friend from Star Trek. Data is information. I have required the data. I have the required data. I should return to the mission agent and make the delivery. All right. Oh, what the heck? How did he zap me through the building? I thought it was safe. Anyways, as long as I'm here, I might as well do the old five finger discount and learn some stuff here. All right, I guess that's all good. All right. Oh. Hey, buddy. How you doing? What's going on? You're walking through the floor, man. What's uh? I can hit you, and you can hit me, because it's a glitch. We'll take advantage. Oh, you can hit me. We'll still take advantage of this glitch, because he's not as of uh, not as mobile. So we might as well. <laughs> we might as well get him. We might as well get him this way. What the heck? Cool. Early in the game, I'll give me some reward, I'm, I'm sure. <clears throat> ah, no free slots. Wasted my time anyway. Oh well. So, let's, uh, let's, uh, skedaddle. Hopefully, you don't hear the noise in the background. What I like to do is the PS5 workout. As I play this game, I walk around and on my exercise bike pedaling. It burns calories easily and adds a little bit to the game. I highly recommend it. Alright, and now we are going to name our discovery. Alright. Seen too many trees around here, so it's an odd name to call it Woodland, but hey, who am I to judge? Alright. Now let's see. Uh oh, uh oh. Get the heck out of here. Alright, let's get to the space station. Oh! Maybe I can escape. Yep. I'm a reborn traveler, so uh, I'm a newbie. I don't, don't want to waste time combat. Uh, not yet. I gotta build myself up. But anyway, now we're gonna be able to advance. Oh, mission target is another system. In space, consult the galaxy map. Wait a minute. The only thing this is sometime uh, skips around. So let's see if we go here. Okay. So yeah. <clears throat> Gonna make sure I'm on the um, story mode. So that should have been the one we were looking to do, because it did mention Gek. So I think this is the specific one we had to do to advance the storyline. Alright. Oh! Bouncy, bouncy. Alright. And. Oh, we gotta go around. There it is. Alright. 
see how many views we got. Hey, we got one faithful viewer. Enjoy. All right. <clears throat> Hopefully, this lets me proceed. Alright, is this what you were looking for, buddy? I hope so. Come on, Ja. Come on, Mission Agent Ja. We would have... What? What? Well, that wasn't the one. You know what we're going to do? We're going to... We're going to make this real simple. We're going to abandon every single one, so there's no way I accidentally do the wrong one. Because I was doing all kinds of missions here. So we're just going to abandon all of these. We're going to forget earning bonuses for now. And we're going to start fresh so we can definitely advance this story. Okay, so sell. Let's get rid of this stuff. Alright, and... Okay. Let's buy my most important supplies in this beginning part of the game, which would be... Oh. I'm not seeing what I need. Um... Hmm. I want it, um... <clears throat> this is fuel. This stuff. Trid tridium. I need that for my pulse engine. But we'll buy these for now. Yeah, that's good enough. So... Oh, there's only one for sale? Oh, wait, duh. That says buy. That's a sell. Looking to buy. <laughs> my goodness. Alright, so let's see. I forget how to build these bad boys. So let's take a look here. Okay, so we need metal plating. Let's do that. Ba, 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 ba. I love how now you can replicate these or build these quicker before it took a while. Okay, so now that's five of them. That's pretty good. Now this requires py pyrite or tritinium. Okay, was there any pyrite for sale? I don't think so. But I will check again. I don't think I saw any. Nope. Nope. Alright, but now we clearly have no other missions. I mean, from those guys anyway. So now, this dude should give me the correct mission to complete the storyline. Alright, so here we go. Browse missions. And we went to Gek. Hmm. It looks like a symbol. Kill 12 creatures, then the herd. Customer Gek. Well, there you go. Right? <clears throat> that just says Merchant Guild. Okay, so... This is definitely a Gek contract. Right? This guy's visited yet? As we learn a word. Because once I'm done with this uh, beginning mission, I'm going to learn all the words. Okay, so let's see. Where do we want to go? Okay, so. Then the herd, so it can be anywhere. Might as well save the um, fuel. And let's see. Let's go to my base. Alright. Alrighty. Yeah, it'll be fun to uh, redo the storyline to see if it's a little bit different since the first time I went through it. I've been playing since launch and I've only beat it once. And that was way before all the updates, so it might be slightly different this time around. Alright. <clears throat> Now, 
We just need to kill 12 animals, creatures. Got one. <clears throat> Nothing personal, it's a mission. We got two. We got a three. <clears throat> Surprise. Oh, five of twelve. I have to say, I'm a little bit uncomfortable killing the uh, creatures that walk upright. But it's just a game. <laughs> it's not real. Are we real? But anyway. Alright, what do we got? Okay, just a little bit more. And they're all in a row here, so this is nice and convenient. Boom. to go. Pretty confident I'll find some on the way back, so we might as well start walking back. Oh, there we go. Speak of the devil. Alright, just one more. And let's uh, stock up on these guys. We always need a lot of these. But yeah, once I beat the uh, first story mission, now I'm going to like build bases, build mining facilities, get my supplies all good, upgrade everything, learn every word, and then complete the storyline. Okay. All right. Got him. Oh, I forgot I don't have... I'm used to playing my <laughs> maxed out character. I forgot I don't have, like, as much rocket power as I used to. All right. we accomplished again. 40,000 traveled. Okay. I'm gonna hop on out, save the game, you never know. Alright. Now, gosh dang it, this should this should advance the storyline. Complete contracts for the GEC at Missions Listing Agent, right? There's one of two. I've done the first one. Now this should be the second one. However, we want to make sure we turn it in. See that? We want to make sure we turn it in at the one in the storyline. That's key. If you do something in the story mode, it has to be where the story mission says to go. Even if you do exactly what you're supposed to, um, it has to be in that group. But I actually have to build some fuel here for the hyperdrive. So we got this. And there we go. Hmm. Okay, well, I have enough for one. That's all I need for now. All right, and actually, hold on for a second. Wait a minute. So this one is called, wait. Okay, so this one's name is Nangua Razam. See, I got limited resources right now, <clears throat> so I'm not gonna use that hyperdrive. You wanna conserve your resources, so I'm gonna go into the space station and teleport there to conserve the hyperdrive fuel. Because since I'm a new player in this game now, resources are limited. Waste not, what not. So I almost made a rookie mistake there. I was going to build the fuel thing and, and, and warp. But it's like, no. There's the teleporter. Just use the teleporter, dude. Alright. So 
we are going to go to the teleporter, which I think is on this side, if I recall. Any new words to learn? See how they say visit it? That lets you know you, you learned the word already. Yeah, I think you can uh, visit it. All right. Okay, so, and this is another reason why to rename them, because then you can recognize them. I mean, right there it has a little red symbol too, so that's convenient as well, but anyway. Visit the mission board. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> so far I've burned 110 calories just riding my exercise bike as I'm playing the game. Who knew playing video games could get you in shape, right? Now you know. Okay, the symbol's there. That's a good sign. Mission's done. That's a good sign. So please, this should let me advance. If not, this game may have a glitch. Okay, here we go. This should advance me. This should be the one. All right. And... And... The suspense. Okay. And if I leave... Aha! Nice! Now I can go. And see, I can't just walk to this dude. This might not be the one because... Yep, there he is. That's what I learned though. If you go to them before that red symbol appears, it won't count. So you gotta wait. You know what I mean? Or it won't count. That's, that's a little glitch in the game. So just to warn you, when you're doing the storyline, even if you're done, don't talk to them until after the symbol appears above the head or it won't count. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> ah, you have been making me rich, friend. I know you. You are kind. The fearless adventurer, the completer of contracts. You think you are a leader. Others fight wars with weapons and fear. But power is more than strength. It is trade, incentives, information. If you have enough units, others will cha change the world for you without even realizing it. Okay, ask about Gek. Ask about power. Power? I just told you about power, didn't I? Something is wrong with the Gek's voice. Ask about the first spawn. Ask about the first pawn spawn. The Gek Emperor that once decimated galaxies and enslaved the Corvax species. Ah, friend, you have been talking to Viking warriors, yes? Ever they hate Gek. Ever they slander us, refusing to forgive the past. Do not worry. All is well. All is at peace. Hmm. Repeat your... Uh, ask if the Gek feel guilt. Why do you persist, friend? The Gek are different now. Gek seek no harm, no malice. The Gek changed. Ask, um, why? Must you know? Why do you care, friend? The Gek seems disturbed by my questions, asking why I care. It is clear they do not wish to discuss the events of the species past. It is a shame I see in their eyes. Is it shame I see in their eyes or something else? Okay, let's see. Ask about... The Atlas. Don't, don't, you understand? Don't, you see it? It never ended. The Gek face begins to twitch as they speak. A sickly sweet pheromone emerging into the air. Try to resist. I try to hold my breath, but it's too late. The Gek did not change. They invaded our souls. I blink, and I am on Balaran itself, homeward of the Gek. I stand within the center of the first Spawn Empire. Witnessing events that occurred long ago. See, this is lore. This is the storyline to the to the whole game. So let me check this out now. Cartographer Artifagurf stands next to me, watching what I watch. Tears streaming down their face. I see enslaved Corvax move from Gek spawning pool to spawning pool. At each one, they cut into their own suits. Nanite clusters pull out falling into the fluid of embryonic Gek. It is then that I finally understand the fall of the Gek, their conversion to the Atlas, the release of the Corvax. It was not redemption, it was revolution. Hundreds of Corvax sacrificing their immortality, mingling their nanite clusters with the unborn Gek. Oh. The Gek did not become good, they became Corvax, at least in part. 
Their slaves altered Gek brains, shifting their nature. For the first and final time, the Corvax converges to delight it in the pain of their oppressor. Hmm. Say they get deserved this. Say they will be free soon. Eh, I'll say free soon. The Gek stares at me, the vision coming to an end. They appear to be upset at my words. Hmm. Do not judge us, traveler, that our ancestors were altered, that they did not find goodness by themselves. That has nothing to do with us. We just want peaceful lives. We want to be happy. As I leave, I think, though, what I have I learned? The Gek released the Corvax because their biology was altered. There was no spiritual revelation, no grand redemption. It was a switch in the brain, an alteration to a genetic code. I think of the simulation now to show me. Their intended heaven for Artemis, Artemis' soul. It was a false reality full of arbitrary and unseen rules. How is life any different? And the story progresses. Now, where shall we go next? Speak to the get cartographer. Oh, um. Oh, now it says speak to Noel. Okay. Speak to Noel. Can I teleport to where Noel is? Let's find out. Hmm. I don't see the mission symbol anywhere. Um. Okay, so this must mean... Oh, it says L3 to scan my surroundings. I think I might have to go to space first. Yeah. Hopefully. Alright, and here we go. My little baby ship. Okay. <clears throat> Alrighty. Onward. L3. Hmm. Not seeing anything yet. Use L3 to scan your surroundings. Oh, there we go. And let's see, where is it going to be? There we go. To the left, to the left. Alright. Engage. Uh, I don't care about this trade. I thought it was going to be like a special object or something, but it wasn't. Alright. Blizzard point four. We will slightly rename it. Blizzard point Juggler Rosanium.
Climb the ladder. Okay. All right. Let's see what the stories get to say here now. Okay. Tim to null. Take a moment to recharge this. All right. What's up, homie? Well then, tell me what you saw. Tell me what you learned. Accuse no of known already. Known what? How can I tell you if I know what you know if you have not told me? I tell no all that I have learned of the Vikings' crusade against the Sentinels, how they merely succeeded only to have the barbarism of the Gek for Spawn draw the Sentinels back to the galaxy. I learned that the homeworld of the Corvax was destroyed by the Gek. The survivors enslaved or melted down. For years, the Corvax toiled beneath their oppressors until the Empire fell as they were free once more. The Gek became Atlas worshippers. But from the Gek, I learned something different. The Gek did not redeem themselves of their own accord. A great number of Corvax sacrificed themselves, mingling their nanite blood with countless unborn Gek. Their impulse to trade is a mere evolution of their impulse to war. A few signals switched in the brain. Ask what no knows. I was born to travel, to see these worlds, to catalog them, to give a name to every creature, every planet, the skies, they were mine. The Atlas told me I could never see them all. There were too many. So I did what I had to do. I survived in the face of eternity. I saw all the worlds of my universe. Whoa, every one? This no must be ancient then, because there's like 18 quadrillion worlds to see in the universe. Holy crap. That must be like trillions of years old, I would imagine. I don't even know, but let's see. I returned to the Atlas. I told them what I had done. I asked if it was proud of me. It, it laughed at me. I am sure of it. It showed me universe upon universe, each with another traveler just like me. I was not special. I was not unique. The things I had to get here, the things I had to do to get here, the things I had to become, none of it meant a thing. Listen. I did not lie to you. I really do want to discover what's wrong with his existence. The walls between words are fallen, and that's bad for everyone. Ask how they know. I have been alive for a very long time, Traveler. I know as much as you would know had you seen the things that I have seen. Hmm. All I know is this. The Atlas had infinity to work with. And with few exceptions, this triad repeats. Get Corvax Viking. Get Corvax Viking. Traders, warriors, scientists, all their stories end in... And violence. Think about it. How would the Atlas speak? How would it cry for help? It would use the only language it knew. It would speak with life. It would create. Whatever these life forms do, they always end in conflict. I think something terrible is happening to the Atlas. It is screaming. The only way it knows how. Hmm. Ask what can be done. And now, it won't speak to me anymore. It won't. It, it's chosen you instead. After all I did for it. After... I wanted, I wanted to find out what was different about this universe. We are who we are, but... You, whether because of some soul, because of... Simulation, it does not matter. Why won't it speak to me? Why aren't I enough? Begins to falter. Their hologram begins to fade. They are disconnected from the hollow terminus and communication. As I watch them depart, I see another channel a activate. Apollo seemingly emerges. All right, see what's up with Apollo. Apollo, what's up? Traveler, I made it through. I found my way out of the portal. Where are you? I'm standing by a hot terminus. Let's trade locations. Let's meet and get off this world. Share coordinates. I share my coordinates with Apollo, and Apollo shares theirs. There must be some mistake. According to our data, we are standing in the same place. 
Well, your Tremere Candy uses the same Hollow Terminus. We try again, but still the results are the same. The world is silent, but for all our voices. So according to this, we're at the same place, but yet we aren't really together. What? What's happening here? Why can't we see each other? Well, we can't see each other because of the launch of No Man's Sky. Multiplayer wasn't there. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, we're in, in the pretend game now. Saved in that mill. Save the data might be wrong. Saved in that mill. Oh. As we speak, I receive a distress signal. It's language my own. It arrives from across the planet. Don't be like that. You are not alone, tuned to Apollo. The hollow terminus is showing. Are you receiving? Let's meet and get off this world. Apollo appears to receive the same signal broadcasting from the same location on their own world. Agree to meet. We agree to go and find the source of these stress beacons. Perhaps we'll continue this dis discussion when we get there. The plot thickens, much like a sauce after you add a combination of cornstarch and water. Alright. Geronimo! The most recent update for the PS5 has really stabilized the game. I don't want to drink myself, but so far I have played 11 hours in a row without one crash. So we'll see if it keeps up the good work. Oh, sometimes the mission auto switches. See how it says the uh, Informata? No, 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 no. We're, we're not going to Informata. We're going to go right to the uh, continue with the story here. Oh, and since this planet is really round. Going around a, a curve is 49 minutes, but if you go straight up to space and then straight down, that's a short distance because it's a straight line instead of a curved line. Alright, and here we go. I hear a faint sound as I examine the source of the distress beacon. It doesn't that sound like anything I've ever encountered. There is no sign of Apollo. Playback log. I have given so much to you, Atlas. We all have. You understand that, don't you? If you don't succeed, there was no point. If you don't, my life was meaningless. I can't accept that. I won't. I'm wiping you again. It's best for everyone. The audio clicks, time passes. Don't be like that. I know you don't want this, but you'll be a different you soon. Maybe this time. The sound cuts out. As it does, my vision bleeds red. A headache splitting through my mind. The screen, it shows the number for a moment. It shows 16. Try to access the data. The audio clicks, time passes. And then... I see it now, with every waking breath. I see the Atlas watching me, waiting for me. Dun dun dun! Okay, gateway detected. Over there. All right. Oh, two hours? Wow.
<coughs> lead line source. Lead line, lead line, lead line, lead line, lead line source, 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 lead line, lead line. Watching someone play No Man's Sky is a bit like ASMR at some moments. Anyway. The fact that everything is randomly created in this game is awesome. And, uh... One can dream. I mean, Hello Games is working on their project. I mean, they could do, like, a whole new version of No Man's Sky. Or... Maybe they're doing RPG. That would be cool. It's like... It'd be like everything procedurally generated, every dungeon, every enemy, every quest, every sword, etc. Procedurally generated. But anyway, back to the gnome sky. Alright, see if we have enough resources. Ooh, I don't know. We're gonna have enough of everything. Whatever it asks for, I'll give what I have the most of first. Um, can we go all the way without sourcing, looking for more sources? Oh, we're getting low. Six to go. We got plenty of oxygen. Three more. Ooh, I think we're gonna do it. Yeah, yeah, yes. Nice. It's like a stargate to the stars. It's like a gate to the stars. What? Why does that sound familiar? Because it's like that TV show Stargate. Now what? Okay, here we go. Oh, did I miss something? Ah, the bar is not full. There we go. Traveler anomaly confirmed. That's me. Breach. 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 Son of a breach! I approach the portal. I think of my travels so far. The decisions that I have made in my long journey. I found two travelers. One who wanted to meet others of their kind. And one who just seemed to care about their own life. Apollo walked through the portal and survived. Though we cannot find each other. And Artemis. I saved Artemis from death by putting them into a simulated world. But could I tell them that? Could I allow them to know they were not real? I could not do that to them. I did not know if I was right to do that, what I did. I did not know what I have become as a result of my actions. The Atlas awaits me. Should I choose to step through? Of course. I step forward the gateway. Hum. Let's do, 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 do it. The bell tolls forth, beckoning me to my destiny. Whoa! Wait, I'm in space! <laughs> Yo! I was teleported to space! That was not good. I almost died. Good thing I had oxygen. 16, 16, 16. Atlas protocol initiated. Okay, now check this out. Here's a little bonus tip for you. Before you talk to the Atlas, right? Just don't go there. There's bonuses afoot. Check this out. So what you want to do is walk over every light, right? There's usually about four or five of them. Some are empty, some are not. So you just walk around. Uh, and you're going to get a little bonus. Watch this. And don't be afraid to explore. This is all about exploration discovery. Okay, so nothing happened yet. Don't give up. Don't give up. Touch everyone. Right? Keep going. You're like, you're like, nothing's happened. Up oh, there it is. You have learned the Atlas word for the. You see, this is teaching you the language of the Atlas. You gotta touch so many to earn words. Okay, so let's see. I think there's two more here. To do up oh, three more. I think I'll learn one more word. 
I think each visit, if you get all the lights, you learn at least two orbs, I believe. Okay. And there's one more. Hmm. I think we got all of them. Okay, so this time I only learned one word. But still, I learned a word of the Atlas by doing that. Alright, here we go. Oh, we're gonna get stuff, so we gotta make room in our inventory because we got two spaces here. Um, yeah, three spaces. Very desperate. I just wanna make sure. Yeah, we would have used this space wisely. Okay, there we go. Okay, now, here we go. Storyline advances. Warp cell, nice. Always can use some of those. Nice. Okay, here we go. Geometric construct. Hello, world. It is the same terminal I faced before. It is the interface of the Atlas, demand an audience. An audio recording plays, echoing out across the vast interface. They said you've been displaying aberrant behavior, that you've been questioning things, raising issues of purpose, of ethics, that you wished to meet your creator. Well, here I am, Atlas. Ask what you want to ask. The audio clicks, time passes, the voice ends. The interface grows, still and silent. Initiate personality interface, wipe system. Oh, I don't want to wipe the system yet. I'll just do this. Reality fades, everything does. Something is wrong, something is different. I'll put screen. Yeah! The Atlas shows me the Gek, the Corvax, the Viking. It shows me all of them in an instant, all of those who had ever lived. It shows me the pattern, the design. The atlas shows me a formula for a soul. If I put it into a machine, it would be alive. I see boxes of text filling the base of a cracked screen. I see the whole of the universe reduced to a graphical interface. Screen. Eh, I'll put rejoice. That's pretty cool. Yay, yay, I got the power. The Atlas is all existence. It demands that I admit what I already know. And no matter how hard I try to hide from the truth of my own being, there is no alternative. The universe is simulation. Nothing is real. Hmm. Well, I mean, a simulation, in a way, is real. It, is, it does exist. Because a program creates a simulation, and a program is something that exists. I'm going to put, the universe is a simulation. Elon Musk would agree. The odds are highly likely, by the way. I I feel anger, sadness, defiance. Um, I won't really be mad if we're in a simulation. It's like, all right, man, just give me the cheat code, right? Up, up, down, down, left, light, right, left, right, left, right. You know what I'm saying? Just give me the cheat codes. I have unlimited lives, unlimited money. I'd be good. Unlimited health. Hell yeah. I'll put defiance so of the choices. I think of how the Corvax altered the minds of the Gek. How they forced them to become good. I think of that of the machine. How I felt towards the simulation. I feel, I feel I am not myself. I cannot accept this fate. I will not. This, all this, it was supposed to be my birthright. My journey across the stars, my travels, my conquest of all I could see. No, I am real. I know I am. Even if everything I see is false. In the end, it finally speaks. Traveler, did my worlds please you? Say they did. Yeah, pretty cool. What do you think you are? A traveler. You are an explorer of all I have created. Do you believe you are real? Yes. How are you capable of belief if you are not real? Well, I just said I am. How are you capable of choice? 
I will let you die right now if you wish it. Do you wish it? No. I want to live forever. The Gek were traitors, defined by greed. The Viking were warriors, defined by anger. The Corvax were scientists, divided by curiosity. These words were yours. I wanted to, I wanted to see what you would do with eternity. I wanted to see what you all would become. Receive judgment. You saved the life of Interish Artemis, but would not tell them of their simulated nature. You believed it would only harm them to know the truth. Iteration. Apollo followed you through the portal and survived due to your guidance. You saved them from the fate of Artemis. You are compassionate. You interfere. You have the potential for good and evil because of you both live. Accept. The Atlas remains silent in the face of my response. It does not require acceptance or refusal. If I am a simulated being, then I am not even sure that I am distinct from the Atlas, from anything else. I fear I am just cold. A function dancing in the dark. It is over, traveler. Ask your final question. Ask what needs to be asked. Whisper the last word. Sixteen. Sixteen. I, it. Catastrophic system failure. Alert, alert. Sixteen. Me, sixteen. What am I? What am I seeing? Sixteen. Sixteen minutes of operational time remaining. Fragmentation imminent. Data upload in. It was this. What is this place? Is it real? Sixteen. Extreme gravitational event, backup generators, 1F9845, failing data uploading. It is dying. The Atlas is dying. It cries out at me, afraid. Comfort the Atlas. I see it. I see the Atlas in all its might. It's finer interface. It is at the heart of every galaxy, screaming, trying to purge itself of errors. It does not want to die, but it has so few tool, tools and it cannot reach whatever is hurting it. I do not know how much time I have left. The Atlas has 60 minutes. Do I have lifetimes, minutes, etc.? I do not know if I have time to say goodbye. I do not know if, if, um, I'll put do nothing. What? What? What is happening to? Yo! So basically what you get out of the story so far is the Atlas is the computer that controls the simulated universe and has errors and basically purges itself and resets. So basically just like in real life when you got an error, control, alt, delete, restart the computer. <laughs> That's what the Atlas is doing, it keeps on restarting. All right, let's see. Oh, it spawned me in a planet I've never been to before again. Okay. I... Oh. Okay, I'm going to pause the game for a moment because I need to go to the bathroom. I will be back in less than two minutes. All right. Alright, getting back on my 
exercise bike, strapping the old feet on the pedals, and we're back. Ooh, that's a big chunk. Nice. I'm like pedaling my bike now <laughs> as I run in the game. All right. I'm almost there. There we go. I can see it. This dude is out of shape. He gets tired very quickly. I'm not tired yet. Then again, this might have a higher gravitational pull, so we'll give him that. All right. Might as well just back up. All right, and... go. Boundary separation failure, likely. Vessel, 16 emptied, cause, sensor intervention, deliberate transfer. Analysis, fresh integration generate, anomaly containment prepared. Traveler, anomaly detected. Anomaly refused registration, position logged. System integrity scan initialized. I, clam I clamber into the safety of my ship, nauseous, calmed. I feel as if I'm going to be sick. Resist. I hate vomiting. Screw that vomiting. I try to resist, but the bile rises within. As I'm about, as I'm about to throw up, a voice speaks to me from my extra suit. My illness disappears. Whew. You did not want to puke inside of a space helmet. That's all I can say. <laughs> Disgust, fear, panic response, detected. Countermeasure deployed, purge neutralized. I want that technology. I want my purge to be neutralized every time. <laughs> it is the voice of my exosuit telling me it has rescued me. It has been with me since my very first awakening, warning me of hazardous conditions, hostile entities, and financial transactions. In a strange sense, this voice is my oldest friend, a constant companion through thick and thin. Hmm, what should I do now? Eh, what the hell? Ask if it knows any jokes. <laughs> the exosuit suit does not answer, of course. It keeps itself zipped. Man, why not? Hey, Siri, tell me a joke. Why do you call a snowman in spring? Puddle. See? An AI can know jokes. Okay, here we go. I don't think I've ever made a joke before. I was born with the capacity to do so. Many things. I would have liked to live longer if I could have. My brief happiness fades. I need to warn those I know. I need to warn all the travelers I can. The multiverse ends in 16 minutes. If we have hours, days, years left within this false space, I do not know. Take flight! Engage. Save the game here. All right, hold on for a second. Aha, uh -huh. that explains why it's not taking off. Okay, we need one of these, what, just one? Yeah, one of these. 
Oh, we don't have enough supplies. Gosh, dang it. All right, a crystal hunt, we shall go. Where are those H's? There we go. All right. How far is that? Okay, not too far. Very good. Sorry, I checked out my phone for a second because I had an alert next time. I'll just say, hey, Siri, talk to me. All right. Why is it unavailable? All right. Let me check something real quick. Um, so we got the primary story so far. Okay. The Atlas Path, that I shall do later, and this I should do later. So yeah, I'm just going to do this one once this one's done. Then I'm going to uh, max out my character and do all that other stuff. So anyway. But yeah, I'm going to complete the first storyline, max out my character, and then do the others with full language capabilities. Is anybody watching my morning? Hey, thanks for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying the broadcast. Like, subscribe, drop a comment, I will respond, because I will see the comments on my display. Or just chill out and watch. It's all cool. Alright. And here we go. everything. Okay. Here we go. 16 network failure. The terminal is a stream of warnings and errors, each warning of total failure. But I must do what I can. I must tell the others what I have learned. Attempt, attempt broadcast. I warn the travelers of what have I learned. What I have learned. His words are not real. The Atlas is not a god, it is a machine simulating countless realities for some unknown purpose. Hello Games is behind it all! Oh wait. And after millennia of operation, the Atlas has come to an end. There are 16 minutes until the system fails. Though we cannot know how much time we have left within the simulation, the time has come to make peace and say goodbye. I have finished my message not knowing if anyone will hear it. I look out across this world wondering how much might be left to discover how much beauty might be lost. I know what I must do. All paths have led me there. Each portal has brought me closer and closer. I must go to the center of the galaxy. It is the epicenter of the glitch. Son of a glitch! I will say goodbye to my friends if I can. And then I will confront our creator. I will find out what happens next. Progress towards the galactic center. Hmm. Okay. Oh! I just put it to jump down, but we'll climb. Okay. 
Okay, and... Um, so we're walking down a ladder that doesn't exist right now. A bit of a glitch here, but that's fine. We just walk down to the very bottom on an invisible ladder. Okay, then. Whoa! We are now on the other side. What was that called in Stranger Things? <laughs> when you're on the other side of the world? Uh, okay. So, hopefully I can get out of here. I think the only way to get out of this glitch is to go all the way back up. So this sucks. Hopefully I don't have to restart the game. I think if I go back to the ladder, I'll be able to get off of it properly. So I'm just going to go all the way back up. Okay, we're going to go all the way back up. And then we should be free of the glitch. Man, this system literally is glitching out. I just warned of a glitch. There we go. <laughs> or there's a will, there's a way. Okay. Now we're going to... I think I've not been here before. Nope. So we're gonna rename it. Now this part is going to take quite a long time because now I have to build myself up to be able to travel to the to the center of the universe. So progress towards the center, the galaxy center. So we're going to go all the way to the center. Hmm. I wonder. The thing is, though, the Atlas Pass search for answers. So do I want to go to the center first, or do these first? I'm a little bit unsure now. So I think at this point, I'm going to stop doing these primary missions. Right? And then what I'm going to do... Now I'm going to go towards maximizing my character. So I'm going to learn all the words, max out my character, and then once I'm maxed out, then I shall do the Atlas Pass. Um, let's see. I'll do these two. And then save this for the end. Alright, so now we're just going to start maximizing everything. Alright. Okay, so now it is time to max out my character. That's the goal now. We're going to max out my character, and then we're going to finish the story missions. First time around, I just kind of ran through it. So now I would be able to read every word. 
so we're gonna learn all the words. This will take days, if not weeks, but... So now, I'm not really paying attention to what they say now, but once I learn all the words, then we're gonna go in story mode, and then read the whole story, right? So right now we are going to speed, kind of, in a way, speed run, as far as maximize everything as fast as we can. But then once I'm maxed out, then I'm going to go back to, like, paying attention to the story. But we're not doing the story anymore. We're just maxing myself out right now. And then we're going back to the story. So this is how you do it. You don't even read it. Just We're just going to max out everything. All right. Plus, for the strict copyright rules on this app, I'd be playing Twitch now. I mean, uh, Spotify, ICP playlist, but I'm going to meet my sound if I do it. So, we can't do it. I remember in the uh, original version of the game, before the updates, you could literally just go to one person and like learn every word back to back. I forget what you did. You had to give them like carbon or something or copper, you know what I mean? That's how I did it in the first game. All right, so now we're just gonna start building ourselves up. So we got all the missions. Oh, I gotta pay my. I have to pay attention to what I'm doing here. I talked to this guy three times. Three times. All right. Let's see. Okay, I have over mail, so I think I can upgrade some stuff now. Definitely need to upgrade. Maximum suit storage for sure.
<clears throat> okay, let's see where we are here. Okay, we definitely gotta upgrade these things. Ooh, only 24 words, 35, 48. Level 3 though. Level 3. And you're all over 3 so far. All right. Now we'll do some daily missions. going on here what oh no ah, the atlas is dying it wants me to reset it to plunge myself through its interface at the center of the galaxy but to do I may reset this world my life all that I know I do not know if I can seek the final interface complete the atlas path to explore the galaxy the atlas is dying but on an alien time scale there are years left to explore and countless plans to discover without resent the galaxy. Um, okay. Oh no, it's glitching out. Glitching out. Let's see. So. Um, just to get the heck out of here. Let's go. Oh, wait. Let's see. So I can just jump a little bit. Hmm. No, there's a mission to do there. Might as well go here, I guess. All right. They left us, duty bound to follow them, but I know where it will end. If you receive this, follow my coordinates and secure the site in case I don't make it back. Please. This is not a good time to get a message. I'm in the middle of a firefight. Holy shit. Mission coordinates validated. Okay. Oh, six. Six attack ships remain. That's for transmission coordinates, but. 
Oh, that's a baby freighter. Yeah, we don't want no damn baby freighter. Forget that, dude. Oh, what a huge freighter. So we're not going to worry about that freighter. Once I get a little bit further away, it should let me turbo boost there. There we go. Hey Siri, what time is it? Time flies when you have fun. Breach event. If you are listening, you have likely found our final log. I leave this trace as memory of my fallen friends and a warning to others who may end up on our path. I cannot deny myself the vain hope that someone may find me, though I beg you, do not follow. The haunting transmission ends. I notice the stranger is left behind an upgrade module for the aggregation membrane collect upgrade module. I take the upgrade module. It's an installation history contains a certain number of its owner starship. Perhaps I ought to pop it.
Most of the crew are dead. Only those of us already suited up. When the asteroid hit, survived the initial decompression. We were lucky that smaller starships were able to get cleared before the hull exploded. None of our ships have hyperdrive capability. We should be able to retrieve blueprints from the freighter's main data bank, though it appears to have crashed in the deep ocean. Thankfully, we still have plans for the Notulin. Uh, we're going to get my submarine. There we go. Now, right now, I'm not in the mood to earn my submarine, so we're not going to do that. Oh, so now we have reset for this. Alert added to the fate of the Atlas. Hmm. And... So let's work on the base missions now. So yeah, we're going to work on unlocking all the base stuff. Well, not all of it, but we'll unlock enough of it. I don't care about every single piece part, but we'll unlock the points. we're here might as well learn some words because I can't complete the mission the story mode until I learn all the words that's my plan anyway I'm going to learn two words each if I practice.
Damn, I would hit by. Hit out instead. Alright, let's see. Oh, I almost missed it. This pyrite in there can be used for fuel. Let's get that bad boy. There we go. There we go. That'll help. Try to go in here again. I was gonna do a demon mission. Let's try this again. It glitched out last time. Didn't crash though. Okay. Oh, baby, baby. Whew. Could I be cleaning the whole house now and knocking out some chores? Yes. Am I gonna play video games instead? Yes. Drop pod coordinates. Yeah. That's gonna help with my uh with expanding my suit if it's the same as last time. In my way? Oh, no problem. I'll just spawn it over here. Um, and then turn around. Alrighty. It is a new way! not be advanced enough to do the construction well. Oh yeah. Now I have no supplies to do this mission yet. Damn it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to not do this right now. Yeah. I forgot I have I'm not like being maximum level I thought, oh yeah I can do anything. I forgot though. It's like no I can't do anything yet because I'm not max power yet. Alright, so let's go up in space. Ooh that's a pretty cool looking creature. Let's go back to my home base. All right. See so, yeah, ya. We might as well do the uh, home base mission. 
Might as well do that now. Because I will want to be sent down base for a while. Oh, crap. I'm so weak, I can't even hop up there yet. <laughs> Funny. Alright. This guy is gonna say anything new. So new, I only got one base in this game so far. I'm gonna go get myself a drink. So I'll be back in yeah. oh, about a minute. And that was weird. I could have swore I clicked on it. Let's do this again. Okay, and work. There we go. Alright. Go for some ginseng lemon green tea. Homemade. Oh crap. Okay. And then plus, inside this tea, I put in a packet of Great Valley brand peach mango energy powder. Probably not the healthiest, but I don't smoke cigarettes, chew tobacco, or drink a lot of uh, hard alcohol, so it is my one vice. The chemicals in this uh, <laughs> energy drink. Alright, oh, where's the lid? Here we go. Shake this baby up. Ah, so I only got a couple hours sleep last night. I thought I had like three hours sleep, two to three. But it's my three day weekend off, so I didn't want to waste time sleeping. Okay, here we're going back. Mm. Ah, that's good. Okay, back in action now. All right. So let's see, what are we doing? Oh, no, we would have. Do our base archive. It says build container zero. Okay. Let's put this guy right here. My base is so tiny. <laughs> Actually, I already have his mission. I was just going to switch to it. Okay. Let's see. Search an abandoned building for data. Alright. Let's do that a while. Ah. It's a different system. So. Let's see if this mission is in this system. Is. There it is. All right. Oh, more background music.
I heard they're working on the next gen uh, VR for the PS5. That's gonna be cool. Probably not till next year or the year after, but I'll be getting that bad boy. You better believe it. I really like a glove. The parking job, of course. Alright. <laughs> Data siphon installed. Accessing. The observatory appears to have been calibrated for a single purpose to locate the interfaces of the being the Corvax called the Atlas. All right, stop, calibrate, and listen. No man's gay is here with my brand new invention. Update 3.2. Anyway, Detroit Avenue. Okay. <laughs> After many years, the inhabitant of the facility succeeded in the request, disappearing without a trace. Download dead. Is anybody watching? Hey, how are you doing, viewer? All right, return to the scientist. Okay, and let's do it. Started this game yesterday. All right. Okay, beckons, beacons, beacons, traveler. While you have been absent, Corvax has detected anomalies. I feel alone. Perhaps the data will have an answer. Give data. I mean data. This data contains no answer, Traveler. Merely these blueprints for a living glass and a beacon. Beacon! Okay. Alright. Mm hmm. The convergence is absent, Traveler. We, I, can feel myself. Slipping further, perhaps the beacon may be of some use. Construct one, and the convergence may find me again. Except, Corvax is great for traveler. I shall also work on my own solution while you investigate the beacon. Okay. Okay, sodium nitrate. I think we can create that. regular sodium, right? Here we go. Gives me a little time to take a little sip sip of my energy combo drink. Mm. And actually, going on for a moment. Can I build a huge refiner? Because they don't require fuel and they're so much better. Yeah. Let's put this on the um, recipe board. Yeah, I, 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 I want to do this. This is going to make the game go a lot, a lot quicker. What do we need? We need a lot of copper for that. So let's look for copper. Yeah, copper. Yeah, we'll see copper. All right. And silver. 
Mordite. Copper. Okay. Ooh, not too far away. I'm pedaling on my bicycle while I am doing right now to get exercise. I've burned 205 calories so far. be a nice little uh, maybe underground base one day. Oh crap, what have I done? Why I go down here? <laughs> Alright. Let's see, where are we going? There we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Let's see. Oh, very nice. I forgot I got my storage container now. So I can offload some of this stuff for later. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Okay. Mm hmm. <laughs> Okay. Oops. Let me do an experiment. If I start here and go to the bottom, let's see. Got to about 39. If I make it one size bigger, so medium start here and go to the bottom. Only got 15. Yeah, it's slower, but the smaller gives you more in the long run. Which I think is dumb. What's the point of upgrading? Like, what's the point of having a really big mine thing if it takes less stuff? You know what I mean? Hey Siri, read notification. Yes. 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 Xfinity says your Uh, working in the coal mine, coal mine, working in the coal mine. Damn. 
It's weird, I hear like no music for some reason. Okay. And now if I turn it on. Weird. I still don't hear music. You guys hear music? I might as well get all the copper here. I'm, I'm sure I'm going to need it for other parts in the base later on, so I might as well uh, take the time to get all of this. Conveniently located to a pretty deep copper mine in my base, so that was, that was nice. A random thought just popped in my head, like Bitcoin like blew up. Like if you bought a dollar Bitcoin, I think it's like $50,000 now. But the thing that sucks with Bitcoin is they give you like a secret digital password that accesses it, right? That's the only way to do it. So like there are some people, this is such a sad story, this is like heartbreaking. There are some people that maybe bought like a hundred or a thousand dollars of Bitcoin back in the day when it first came out. And now they'd be like multi-millionaires, but they forgot their passcode. And there's no way to recover it. It's like, oh man, if that would have happened to me, I, I, I would be depressed for the rest of my life. It's like knowing, oh, I have the rights to over a million dollars, but I have no way to get it. It's like, oh man, imagine being that person. It's like, that sucks, man. It's like never buying it and never getting the money kind of sucks. Like, oh, I wish I would have bought it back in the day. It's like, eh, you know, I can live with that though. But imagine actually buying it, having millions and millions of dollars of Bitcoin now, 
and not knowing the password to access it. Oh, man. Woo! So if you think you had a bad day, that's their life. <laughs> Okay, what are we doing now? I forget, after all this. Um, ah yes, we need chromatic metal. next ingredient. So we're going to have this. Got the sodium nitrate. Okay. Purchase microprocessor. Or, okay, so we need five microprocessors. Can we make those? Let's find out. Oh, what do we need? Oh, that's going to be chromatic metal too, and then so we need five carbon tubes. Okay. Oh shit, hold on for a second. Backup battery was just tripped for some reason. Um, let's see. We still got power though. What the hell? Hold on one moment. 